What up, YouTube dudes? Is you guys ready? We got Trailer Park Boys. That's right. Season three. No, <laughs> I'm way off. Season four, episode four. That's right, man. Uh, last episode they was trying to buy the park. They missed the damn payment. I don't know what that means. They're not going to get it. I'm kind of hoping that was a pretty good idea buying the trailer park. Hopefully, they can pull that off. Let's find out. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Check out those playlists. Let's go. Trailer park, boy. <laughs> What the hell is that idiot up to now? Mr. Lady, no can I ask you something? Why are you making me wear this shirt? Are you embarrassed about the way I look? Of course not, Randy. You're beautiful. When we win Trailer Park Supervisor of the Year, boy, you gotta look professional. There's no way Barb's gonna go for this, Mr. Leahy. Bottle kids! Hit him with one. Are you alright, Mr. Leahy? Alright, Randy. I've never been better. I can feel it. Today's the day, Randy. <laughs> Today's the day I receive the highest, most prestigious award there is. And you know what else? I don't know how, but Ricky's going down today, and we're going to polish off a quarter of rye each. Being a trailer park supervisor has been a fulfillment kind of reward. You know, I can fuck around and do whatever shit I want. It's been great. And when Julian was in jail, I stress bubbles it a little bit, so I figure it's time to give back to him, give back to the community at the same time. So today I'm having community day. It's gonna fucking kick ass too. We got front end loader rides. We're gonna have a paintball target range. And we're gonna have wrestling. You know, it's a good chance to make a bit of money for the down payment for the park, which will keep Julian fucking happy and pay off my debt, which I mean that wasn't my fault, but that's neither there nor here or anywhere. And right now I'm just gonna smoke a big six paper joint and get fucking wrecked and party all fucking day. Otherwise, I'm Ricky, bam. What are you doing? Come on, man, we got lots of work to do here. Who the fuck are calling Charlie? You seen it? They're back there moving bubbles shed. Got a big enough joint there, Rick? No. Look, I need corn to work for me today. I got weed right here. I'm going to fucking pay them. My Community day, Julian. Like, Listen, why don't you try focusing on the weed a bit more, okay? Instead of being trailer park supervisor. You're fucking up, man. Shut up. Sounds like someone's a little bit jealous about me being supervisor. No, no. Those plants are getting huge, Rick, okay? They're starting to scare me a bit. Julie, it's one fucking day. We're going to get drunk and stoned. We're going to have community day here. Bubbles will get to wrestle. He's going to shit himself. That's a burp. Oh, my goodness, Randy. You look magnificent. <laughs> Jim, this is, um, this is interesting. Mr. James Leahy, you have been selected as Trailer Park Supervisor of the Year by the International Association of Trailer Parks, Trailer Park Supervisors, and assistant trailer park supervisors the letterhead is incredible and it's so well written you know boys i really i really don't have time for this nonsense Barb, that's a real thing i was nominated four times and this year i won tim we have been all through this you are not the trailer park supervisor ricky yeah babs that's what i wanted to talk to you about they think that i'm still supervisor of the park oh look what i'm asking is this make me supervisor for one day I'll accept the award, and Sunnyvale can become part of the International Union. Just think what that'll do to the value of the park, Barb. Jim, I'm not an idiot. What's in this for you? Well, the award. Barb, I, I don't know if you noticed no, or not, man. but I kind of hit the bottom of the barrel lately. Look, this award is exactly what I need to get me back on my feet again, Barb. Ricky doesn't even need to know. He's doing his community day thing. We'll just stay clear of him. Barb, they're going to be here in 45 minutes. Please. Ricky, you're not mad, are you, that I moved my shed up here to Julian's? No. Well, I've always lived by him. I just don't want you to think I don't like you. Ow! 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 Stop it! Ricky, make it back up! Give me the gun. That was 12 shots. That was $24. I hope you know that. Let's go. Boy, green bastard. Parts unknown. Nice. <sighs> Corey and Trevor, get the fuck in the ring. Let's turn around. What's up, right. buddy? <laughs> green bastard. I think you did. Go in the hell of those things. Jason, the paint. I don't know. What are you doing with that? 
community day. Hmm. Nice crowd you got gathered here. I didn't know you were in a wrestling gym. What the fuck is going on here? Listen, Ricky. You boys just better cool it. You don't know what you're dealing with here today. Well, he fuck off, okay? Thanks for fucking off for a change. That is a no fucking parking zone, okay? And I want those fucking cars out of here right now. Get them the fuck out of here. You must be Ricky. Oh, That's crack slick. I am Ricky. I'm a fucking trailer park supervisor. Who the fuck are you soup dummies? I'm Bernie Sanford, president of the International Association of Trailer Park, Trailer oh, Park man, Supervisors, and Assistant Trailer Park Supervisors. Move the fucking cars, okay? I got wrestling fans showing up here. I'm baked out of my mind. I don't got time for this shit. Uh, Leahy, I want those fucking cars out here, and I want them out of here now. Boys, boys, just, uh, just one minute. Julian can have a quick word, please. I have the chance for Sunnyvale to be part of the biggest trailer park union in the world. Okay? So what does that mean? Julian, this is huge. Listen, the bank took my house today. Just let Jim be trailer park supervisor for the day, okay? And, and, and keep Ricky out of the way. But don't tell him. I don't want him to get hurt. That's not what this is about. You want to move the cars? Fine, boys. Well, I'm just going to start pissing in this general direction. And if this car is illegally parked, they might accidentally get pissed on. Richard, don't, Have you want to see some pissing? Don't, Richard. Richard! Oh. Yeah. My car. I fucking warned them three times, Bernie. They won't listen to me. They don't even believe in the trailer park supervisor, all right? I am so very sorry You're about You're right, this. Bernie. He's the epitome him, of Bert. refractory. Tell him, Julian, I'm the fucking supervisor here. You guys won't believe me. It's bullshit. I'm so... Jim, let me take this one. Ricky, you and me. Come on. <laughs> what the fuck do you want to talk about? You'll find out. Uh, what you've just done? Pissing on my car? You have crossed the line with me. I've had guys throw barbecues at me. They broke the windows out of my car. They cursed and sworn at me. But the bottom line is, I ain't shook. Cause if the right hook comes out, crazy motherfuckers like you get knocked out. Don't be looking me in the eyes, boy. I ain't got no candy for you. No candy. Except for the right hook. Ah, uh, Mr. President, it's lunchtime. How about some takeaway? You want some candy? Did right I ask for hook? candy? I'm gonna tell the fucking right hook, Barb, that I'm a supervisor, not Leahy, because I'm a little sick of this shit. You ain't sit down. Yeah. lunatic. They don't like you. Do Two that. buckets of chicken. Stop when I stop. Okay, everybody. Before we get on to the main event, we are going to see the long-bodied alien match. Oh, wow. Great. In this corner, in the shitty old corduroy pants, with the translucent skin stretched over an alien frame, it's Trevor, the elongated skeleton. <laughs> Get your fucking shirt off, Trevor. Get your shirt off. And in this corner, wearing the fucking same old work pants he has on every time I see him, it's Jacob the Twiggy Alien Man. Fuck yourself, Jacob. Get your shirt off too, Jacob. My God, look at them. They're both like fucking aliens. Okay, boys, I want a clean fight. I don't want any bullshit and no foreign objects. Here we go. Let's get it on. Beat the fuck out of each other, boys! Come on, dude! Come on! Come on, man! Keep the feather. Yeah. You drop kid. Come on, Jacob, use your twiggy arm! Come on, Jacob, use your twiggy Hey, boys, what do you guys be Jim Leahy? I don't know what the fuck's going on. I got some chicken and some burgers here for the trailer park supervisor. Uh, is it paid for? Yes, it is. Well, I'm Jim Leahy, trailer park supervisor. How you doing? What Thanks. are you on? What are you fucking on? I'm starving. Fuck the pig and egg, Julie. We get out, Ricky. We're setting up a booth and selling this right now. Here. For fuck's sakes. Ricky, didn't you and Bubbles already pay your 35 bucks to wrestle the trailer park supervisors? Yeah. Yeah, we did. We paid 35 bucks. I've been waiting to fight you all day. Me and Ricky tag team against you and Randy. That is what the sign says, isn't it, Jim? Wrestle the supervisor for 35 bucks, and apparently you're the supervisor. I'm not going to wrestle anybody Mr. here Lee, today. Mr. Lee, come here. What are you, afraid? Excuse me for a second, boys. <sighs> Freddy cat, Freddy cat, ladies, a Freddy cat. Mr. Lee, you said that you didn't know how, but today's the day that Ricky's going down. This is how. Fuck. Mr. Lee, have some faith in me. We can do this. We can win for the park. Mandy, if we wrestle them, we have to win. They stole yeah. my fucking cheeseburgers. I'll trade your bite of my chicken for a Randy. bite of your burger. Barb, what the fuck do you want now? Okay, here's the deal. Randy and I are wrestling, but when we win, you resign, and I become trailer park supervisor. <sighs> Why am I getting fucked around with this trailer park shit today? Hey, Ricky, will you trust me on this? I'll explain it all later, okay? Uh, all right. Impartial. No. 
tag team wrestling match. Me and Randy against Ricky and... Green Bastard. From parts unknown. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, shit. Oh, my God, Randy looks like the hop. Go, Randy. Go, get him. Yeah, yeah. come on, Ricky. Who moves to me? He moves to the me. Congratulations, Jim. Well done. Thanks, Jim. Jason, picture. We've got the cover for this month's newsletter. Thank you. Barb, put this somewhere safe, will you? Fucking head is killing me. Some bleeding bubbles? Oh, Let me hear a look. Oh, look, it's... Man, get the uh, new car. Relax. Relax, yo. Get the new car. Man. Jim has a bit of work to do here before your part can be considered applicable for membership in our union. Why don't you give us a call when you get things back in order? Jason, Cab, Walter, move it. Uh, uh, Woo! Fuck, Ricky. That was awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, and now you're the bus awesome. supervisor, so you're a beast now. What'd you think of that, Leahy? Wipe the smirk off your face, Rick, because you're a loser. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Fuck off. Boys. The bank has repossessed the house. And until I sell the park, I have got nowhere to live, so I'm moving in here. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to leave you and your little friend out in the cold. I've taken the tent trailer and put it down in your lot. You can live down there. And in the meantime, there's lots to do. There must be 200 back rents owing. You guys can get busy and go out and collect those. Supervise your little hearts out. Did you guys see that fucking car? It was beautiful. It should have been mine. Like, you didn't I would have been that, that car one, for the rest that of my life. Dumb. Oh, it was nice. Yeah, that sucks, man. But just think. Leahy's going to be busy all the time now. I just can't wait to buy this trailer park and fire those two fucking idiots. The old tent trailer. Barb sure was generous, Randy. We're moving up in the world, boy. Congratulations, Mr. Leahy. You did it. We did it, Randy. Let's head to the LC, bud. We earned it. Corey Braidhead, he gets him set up for the clothesline. Oh my God, he's fucking devastating. You all right, Corey? Yeah, I don't give a fuck, actually. Get in here, Trevor. Come on. I'm going home. Oh, come on, boys. Boys. Damn, Red Wolf was beating the shit out of those dudes. That's fucked up. <sighs> Me personally, I think he should have stayed supervisor. That way, he could have made sure that lady dude was out of his mouth. Like, whatever. Anyway, what y'all think, man? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe.